Here's an example of how to shoot a sequence of shots of an event that's happening in front of you and then shoot it in such a way that it's then editable. I firstly shot Wayne for about four to five minutes in this mid shot, letting talk about the project. It's called Seeds of Hope. It's in the rural part of Cambodia. But he chatted, I listened as he chatted through each part of the project, made sure I had enough in this particular framing, but kept the framing static basically, a bit of a move from side to side, but uh, kept it running for a good four to five minutes. I then moved into a closer shot. Now, in the edit, I could zoom up that uh, mid shot to this sort of framing, but I'd rather do it on the spot. So I filmed him in close up for about two minutes, again, talking about the project, knowing I could then edit it together to make a much shorter sequence. When I had enough of Wayne chatting, I then went to look uh, for shots of people listening. So here's some students in a wide shot. Uh, again, holding the shot nice and steady. No pan, just holding the shot so I can cut in and out at any particular point. Around the other side of the circle, uh, some of the Cambodians listening, some notes in their hands. Notice you can't see Wayne. You can see his hand, but uh, you can't see Wayne, so lip sync isn't a problem. Move to a mid shot of this particular Cambodian, framed it up, focused, hold it steady, and then pulled out to a two shot. I won't use the pull out, but I may use the two shot, again, as a static shot to cut in. After I'd done that, then went to the back of the group and shot a wide shot. I still had Wayne's radio mic into my camera, so I was still recording his audio if I needed to use it. But again, a wide shot from the back of the group. Again, nice and steady. No pans, no moves, just hold the shot steady so I can then edit it. Then went for some cutaways. I had information sheets uh, handed out, so shot some of those. Didn't think I had focus on this one, so I went in and got, oh, yes, I have focus, pulled out. Again, holding the shot from here nice and steady for a good 10 seconds, so I can then edit that into the sequence. Then there's some shots of students looking at the information sheet. So these two guys, again, nice and steady. Then went to the other side of the group for a wide shot. Didn't end up using this, but uh, shot that as well from the other side. Then got some uh, arty wide shots, maybe, uh, with the fence in the foreground to show the landscape and really where they were. Went in a bit tighter to get another shot. So again, filmed that, bit of a track happening here, handheld track, the branch coming into frame. Then travelled to another location, but got this shot of the students getting off the bus. Uh, I just again held the frame in wide shot, let them walk through the frame, didn't pan because they were in a different spot, but knew I could use this to set up the beginning of the sequence I just filmed. And now let's show you how that works together in this particular edit. So, started with that shot, I'm getting off the bus, around the Today, bus audio underneath in, this uh, shot, started Wayne's uh, chat underneath that from his mid shot, but kept a, put a wide shot over the top, here's Wayne 100%, chats for about 8 seconds, then goes to the cutaway shots of students listening, another cutaway shot of the Cambodian Nationals listening, you can't see Wayne, back to his uh, chatting again, then cut into the close-up, doesn't quite work uh, from a narrative point of view, but that's what I would do. Cut to the cutaways, I mean the close-up shots now, cutaways, uh, again the students looking at the sheet, back to a wide shot to show uh, where they're set up, and then back to, to Wayne to finish off in a close-up. Now here it is without me. Today, guys, we are in uh, in Kampong Chinong. We're in the the, the uh, province of Kampong Chinong, and uh, we are in the village of Trampong Ompul. And today, we are going to take a look at the Seeds of Hope project. Now, when we talk about the Seeds of Hope project, um, we're going to take a look at several different several different components of Seeds of Hope. We want something that's sustainable, something that long that's long term. Uh, that the village can continue not just to develop during the season that, that Samaritan's Purse is here, but continue to develop after uh, we've left. So really what we do as Samaritan's Purse is not come in and provide the answer.